Hello! It's time for another Root Cellar Farm weekly video and it's the end of July so you know what that means. It's time for a July field walk. Let's take a look around and see what's been going on this month. So pardon the wind, I hope you can hear me okay. But here we are in the field and we've got the char and the kale and the cabbage and the broccoli and the... Who's under there? That's more cabbages. Brussels sprouts. <gasps> and the Brussels sprouts. Those, you they're can like tell which ones are the Brussels the sprouts. Yeah, they're the tall ones. Yeah, that's they really cute. Like so, so if you see where it ends being tall. Oh, in the middle. It's trying to focus on my finger. That's where the Brussels sprouts end. It turns back into cabbage. That's super cute. And then waiting for things to go in. New brassica row. Carrots. More brassica. And here's where you can see some of the stuff that bolted or a little bit behind because of that heat made a little bit more bolt a little bit faster. There's our zucchini and our squash, our potatoes. So on the right, those are potatoes getting ready to come out of the ground. And on the left, our potatoes we are gonna leave in for a little bit longer. Volunteer sunflower, more potatoes. Look at this corn. Get a load of that corn. Volunteer amaranth. Here's the beans. And here's some of our flowers. Those look super weird because we just pinched them super hard. That's our amaranth close to us. Sunflowers here. Larkspur and Bapurum and more sunflowers and lots of weeds. And here's an exciting friend. We're starting to get sunflowers and snap peas. Or, pardon me, sweet peas. I always do that. And the plurum. The docus is just around the corner. Some straw flower just starting. Some gombrena. Lucas is eating the last of the sugar snap peas. So pretty. And then we've got four different kinds of amaranth growing this year. Let's see if I can find the beginnings. Yeah. So it's just beginning. This beautiful little pink one, that's our coral fountains. In the middle here is emerald tassels. And on the left is Hopi red dye. And over there, where we beheaded everybody, we've got uh, hot biscuits as well. Just loving the amaranth. It's so fun to see them all. There's our happy sweet peas. They've been adoring this weather, and I cannot keep up with them, so they are decorations. We've got yarrow. And... The cosmos are just around the corner, just starting to get our first buds. Oh, so exciting. This will be... This will be like B nap central pretty soon here. But look at that gorgeous. There's our snapdragon. It's way behind this year because I'm a little behind this year. There's the, the Lucas and the sweet pea or the sugar snap peas. And then this row is bringing me just infinite joy. This is our calendula row. So here's our strawberry blonde. Violas down here too. Strawberry blonde. These happy yellow friends. This is Princess Nagasaki. This row is all calendula. A little bit of strawberry blonde back there. And this is the uh, flashback mix, I believe. I just love Princess Ma Nagasaki. That yellow is just so perfect. Here, this is radio. And radio is one of my new favorites. I just love the petal shape on these guys. They're so beautiful. Oh, Lucas found some cucumbers. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so on the left we've got lemon. That's pretty small. That's it's pretty small. I don't know still. if this one's right. And then who's this... in the middle? Who's that guy in your pocket? Shinto. Okay. And then. That's our this slicer. This mid-east piece. And then over here is our cucumelons, and they are not ready to harvest yet. So we posted cool. some photos. I think one there's going to be a million of them. Yeah, they're going to all come on at once, but if you see this little tiny print of my finger, 
It's got a really cute pattern to it. Got our tomato tunnel. Tomatoes have just started to come on. So we've got our, that's our Cordell Benga, I think, variety on the left. We've got Sun Golds on the right. A couple different varieties here on the left, but yay! All right, now we're stuck. And then here we are on the back side. <laughs> Ignore my volunteer. Sunflowers everywhere. We've got our, our lettuce. Oh, Lucas is in the gap. There's a watermelon. There's a watermelon. Oh. There's a honeydew there. Oh, man. We've got little honeydews. That watermelon looks so good. Look at that. It's bigger than a softball. Oh, so good. Oh, my gosh. There's a ton of them, babe. Look at all you guys. Look at all those melons! Oh my gosh! It's gonna be a good melon here. Okay, so that horrible hellscape heat is good for something, and, and that something is melons. Okay, so we've got our lettuce and our parsley, gorgeous basil. This year we decided to go for three different kinds, so you can see from above, left right and center. I don't know how well that's going to pick up, but you're looking at three different varieties. So on the right is our Genovese. On the left is our Thai. And in the middle is... Sacred. Oh, sacred. There we go. Sacred basil. And then carrots hanging out over here. Getting ready to transplant pretty soon here. Onions and lots of weeds. More onions. Turnips. Turnips, a bunch of stuff getting ready to go. Oh, and then one more thing I wanted to show you guys. Look at all those gorgeous ones. So fun to see their different, different colors. So these are our nasturtiums. And if you haven't had these before, they're like a lovely, smooth, peppery taste. If I can use my fingers. So.